Hi, welcome to the Map User X tutorial, part one. Today we'll learn how to set up a user management system quickly and easily using Map User X. We'll explain the terminology used and the different modes of user management. In a user management system, each user is uniquely identified by a username and a password. A user management system also manages the assignment of users to specific roles. General settings are defined via the MP User X configuration. That includes things like the criteria a password must meet or how many login attempts are permitted. The mode in which the user management system should operate can be defined in the MP User X configuration under User Management System Settings. It's possible to choose between a local, central, or local and central system. When local user management is selected, all roles and users are managed locally on the machine. In this mode, tasks like adding, editing, and deleting users are all performed directly on the machine. With central user management, Map User X is connected to a directory server. Depending on the operating system used, you can select an Active Directory server or a 389 directory server. For Windows-based systems, an Active Directory server must be used. For Linux-based systems, 389 directory server. The advantage of this mode is that multiple machines can communicate with a single directory server and then have access to the user management system. User management takes place at a central location. When using local and centralized, it's possible to combine users from a central directory server with locally managed users. When a user logs into the system via Map User X, a login session is opened. The session can be opened either via the control application or a map view HMI application. An application session describes the login process when performed via the control application. This is done using various function blocks and functions, such as MP user X login. A visualization session describes the login process when performed via map view. This is done using the login widget. Both types of session use the Automation Studio user role system. The roles Everyone and Administrator exist by default. The default user Anonymous is assigned to the role Everyone. It's possible to add new users and roles. We'll create the role Operator and the user Jane. Then, we'll assign Jane to the role Operator, and we'll set her password as My Password. The Admin user has also been created, and assigned to the role Administrator. In order to use Map User X via an application session or visualization session, we need to add the MP User X configuration. In the MP User X configuration, settings can be defined for the user management system, such as the password requirements or the mode. We'll use a local user management system. The users and roles we created are specified via the configuration under Users and Roles. The additional users and roles have been specified. Different levels are defined for various roles. For the administrator role, the property administrator is also set to true. Now we'll take a look at how to log in via the control application. The following steps only apply when using an application session. To open an application session, we need to use the MP user X login configuration. That's where we'll find the map link which uniquely identifies the map component within the map environment. The map link establishes the connection between the application and the configuration. To log in via the control application, we'll use the function block MP user X login. Using the input MP link, 
can establish a connection to the configuration we created earlier with the name GUserXLogin. The function block is enabled using the enable input. The next step is to create two variables for username and password. A user can use these two variables to log in with their login data at runtime. After downloading the changes to the controller, we're ready to test the program. First, we'll enable monitor mode. Both the function block mpUserXLogin and the process variables we created have already been added to the watch window. To start the login process, we need to enter the username and password. The login process is started via the input parameter login. On the output parameters, we can see which user is logged in and what their user level is. As you can see, logging in to map user X via the control application is quick and easy. Now we'll look at how to log in via the HMI application. The following steps only apply when using a visualization session. A map view HMI application has already been added to my project, as you can see here. In order for MapView to communicate with MapUserX, MPUserX must be defined as the authentication type in the MapView configuration. The login widget is used to open the visualization session via the MapView HMI application. First, we need to navigate to the piece of content that should display the login widget. Then we can drag and drop the login widget onto the piece of content. And that's all the preparations we need. After the changes have been downloaded to the controller, we're ready to open the HMI application in the web browser. We'll enter the username and password, and then start the login process using the login button. The user Jane is now logged in. Other map user X functions are available depending on the configuration. For example, we could change the password or log out an inactive user. As you can see, logging in to map user X from a map view HMI application is quick and easy. As we saw, it's possible to log in via either the control application or the HMI application. Both approaches are based on the Automation Studio user role system and the MP user X configuration. For more information, see the automation help. Thanks for watching.